Hello and welcome to our online service from the parish of Central Swansea. Wherever you are, wherever you may be in uh, Wales or any part of the world, you are most welcome to join us. In the words of Wales, Croeso Canis Iawn in Gwasanaeth, a very warm welcome to our service. Today we give thanks for the transfiguration of Christ. When those disciples went with him up the mountain and they saw him changed and transfigured, we give thanks as they saw him in his glory. Today, as we begin our service, we meet in the open air on this lovely day and we give thanks for God and his glory. Now, about eight days after these sayings, Jesus took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And while he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly they saw two men, Moses and Elijah, talking to him. They appeared in glory and were speaking of his departure, which he was about to accomplish in Jerusalem. Now Peter and his companions were weighed down with sleep. But since they had stayed awake, they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. Just as they were leaving him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were terrified as they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my son, my chosen. Listen to him. When the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone, and they kept silent, and in those days told no one any of the things they had seen. It's good to have good times, isn't it? It's good to get to those really happy and joyful times, and everything seems absolutely wonderful. We think of holidays, times when we were able to be flying high over a city or looking down at somewhere rather beautiful. I remember being on holiday in France several years ago and looking at hot air balloons as they rose high into the sky. It was a fantastic sight. As we looked, I couldn't help thinking of what they would see as they looked down from the heights to our world down below. Down there, those people in their little boxes, their buildings, yes, boxes on wheels as well. People hemmed in by worries and concerns. It must be very good to be up above and to see it as it really is. Well, yesterday, Saturday, we remember the Transfiguration, when the three disciples, Peter, James and John, were up high with Jesus, and they saw him in all his glory. They were there, and they must have enjoyed it. I suppose it's a little bit like church festivals when in normal times we can, I suppose, be on a high in our worship and praise with music and wonderful liturgy. Yet, after it all, the three disciples had to come down to earth. As soon as they did, they found problems yet again. There were problems. The disciples were asked to heal someone and they couldn't do it. So Jesus was back in the middle of it all again. Well, when we have those very special moments, when we are so happy and perhaps maybe close to God, it seems so wonderful. Then we seem to be dragged down once again to reality. And that can be so awful. It happens to everyone. We can treasure those special moments Someone suggested that each minute we should think about what we are seeing, hearing and doing and enjoy the wonder of that moment. Enjoy absolutely every moment. We so quickly have to face the sad and miserable things of life. This, I suppose, is a message of the Transfiguration because we can be up there with God but we have to come down to earth again and live 
as we do in this world. We are here to serve him, but ultimately he will draw us back again to join him in the heights of joy, being in his presence. So then, when we are down in our dumps, when we are down, Jesus will draw us back up and share those heights with him. You know, we live in a mad world these days, don't we? It's a world of sadness, uh, a world of worry, a world where many people are concerned about many things. We think of the warfares, the tensions between nations. We think of climate change. All these things are there which can worry and concern us all. But may we share the joys of being with Jesus on those high points. And when we are down, to know that he is there with us. At the same time, sharing and guiding and always walking with us. This Jesus who was transfigured on that mount can be seen by us all if we only open our eyes and see the beauty that exists in the world. We have to walk downhill and face the problems and worries, but we can be sure he is there with us. Jesus, the one who will raise us up and we can be he will raise us up to be with him so let us pray lord god of the universe you have made our world and all that is beautiful help us each day to see the beauties of your world may we see your glory here in our world as we pray for our world, we pray for the peace of the world. We remember those parts of the world where there is warfare, where there is violence and hatred, mistrust and tension. We continue to pray for the people of Ukraine. We pray for all leaders, the leaders of Russia and Ukraine, that they may search for peace. We pray for a great understanding between all nations that we may work together in this God's world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who lead us in our church. In our part of the world, we pray for John, our bishop, <clears throat> for those who lead in the Christian communities in and around the places where we live. Lord, help us to work together in your name, that we may show your love here in your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the beautiful world. We pray for those who are working to conserve and preserve the beauties that there are. And so then we pray for those who lead us in, in political institutions. We pray for those who lead us in our government in Westminster, in the Senate, in Wales and in our local councils. We pray for those who have authority in all communities. May they use their power well, remembering the needs of everyone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So we pray for the sick, the lonely and the sad, for those who are suffering, we pray for those whose lives only seem to be filled with darkness. We pray that they may be transfigured into the glory of Christ. As we remember the sick, we remember those we would name. For these, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who are bereaved, for those who are missing loved ones. We remember them. And we pray for those who have died recently, for those who have departed, and we pray as well for those whose 
we would remember at this time those now departed. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we pray for each other. Wherever we may be, we pray. And we remember, as we pray, the collect for today, for the transfiguration of our Lord. Father in heaven, whose Son, Jesus Christ, was wonderfully transfigured before chosen witnesses upon the holy mountain, and spoke of the exodus he would accomplish at Jerusalem, give us strength so to hear his voice and bear our cross, that in the world to come we may see him as he is, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And shall we sum up our prayers with the words which Jesus taught, in whichever language is our own? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be on you and those whom you love, this day and always. Amen. <laughs>